Hey what's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a program which is in the syllabus of uh, the second year computer engineering uh, in Savitribai Phule University. So the problem statement is given over here. It is in second year computer engineering class of M students. Set A of students play cricket and set B of students play badminton. So we have to write a program in C or C++ to find and display set of students who play either cricket or badminton or both or set of students who play both cricket and badminton or only cricket or only badminton or neither of cricket or badminton. Okay, so I have written the code. So first of all I will uh, demonstrate you what uh, how, how I have uh, coded it. So I have this class set in which I have declared these uh, five global uh, members or uh, global variables which are private by default all right so we have total number of students which we are going to ask from the user we have uh, cricket uh, number of students who play cricket and uh, badminton and then we have these two sets that these two are the point pointers and later on we are going to point them to array of students okay so we are declaring these two to get the roll numbers of those students all right so we have these number functions we have which, which gets the data so get data is to get the data of uh, these variables next we have case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 and case 5 for the particular cases so let's move forward we have this common so what common does is it uh, calculates the number of students which are common to both common to cricket as well as uh, badminton it plays both in short so let us start from the main all right so we have this main where uh, we have created an object of set class and we are calling get data function so let's go to this get data function so here it is so first of all we are asking for the total number of students in the class so the, the user inputs the student and the count is then stored in this g to this student all right then we are asking for the number of students who play cricket so this includes the number of students who play badminton as well but they are playing cricket so we are counting them uh, in total all right then we are creating uh, uh, array so this set is a global pointer which points to this array so we, this uh, variable can be accessed from different functions in the class all right then we are asking for the roll number of the students who are playing cricket all right similarly we are doing the same thing for the badminton students all right so this is what the get data function is doing then we have uh, we, we are asking the user to choose which of the case he wants so suppose he uh, enters one here so it will go into the switch case and the first function will be called case one function Okay, so the first condition is set of students who play either cricket or badminton or both. So this condition includes the number of students who are playing only cricket, the number of students who are playing only badminton and the number of students who are playing both. So common students as well. Alright, so let us go to this case one and see how we have coded that. So here, here it is. So G cricket student contains the number of students who are playing cricket as well as badminton the common uh, students right then g badminton contains the number of students who are playing badminton but there are some students who are playing cricket as well so common so if you look at this uh, carefully you will uh, come to know that both these have common students we need only one of the uh, sets all right we are adding the common twice once in this and once in this so we are calling the common function so let us look at this common function. So common function is uh, checking for the common roll numbers in the, both the sets. All right, the first for loop is for the number of cricket students. So it will check for the uh, cricket students in each in, in the B set. All right. So each student in the cricket uh, or each roll number in the cricket set will be compared with each roll number in the badminton set. So in this way, if it finds uh, the match, it will increment the common. 
and then it will return that number so we are subtracting that number from this because we have added twice the common once in this and once in this all right so we are getting either cricket or badminton or both all right so this is it next case is case 2 so which is set of students who play both cricket and badminton so this is the common common number so we are just calling the common function next is the number of students who play only cricket so only cricket is the number of students who are playing cricket which includes the common uh, players as well so we are subtracting that common number from the total of cricket so we are getting only cricket students similar is for badminton students who play only badminton and finally the number of students who play neither cricket nor badminton so in order to get this what we need to do is we need to subtract uh, the number of students who are playing cricket and badminton from the total number of students so if you look at this carefully we have common in this and common in this all right so what we need we need only one uh, uh, one copy of that common so cricket students plus common plus the number of badminton students that's it you need to subtract from this so in order to, in order to do that we need to add common because we have to uh, only take single copy of common so if we sub we are subtracting these two copies of common from one from this and one from this we need to add one all right so this is how it is uh, getting neither students or neither cricket or nor badminton students so let us run this and i'll show you how it is working so total number of students say we have 10 students in the class and five students are playing cricket so roll number is 1 2 3 4 and 5 now we have again five students who are playing badminton so uh, let us take the first student so his roll number is 1 he is also playing badminton okay second is also playing badminton as well as cricket now we have six roll number 9 and 8 all right now we need now let us see what happens with the case 1 the number of students who are playing either cricket or badminton or both is 8 it makes sense because if you look at this carefully we have five here five were playing um, cricket then we have three here all right so in all if you see we have eight because these two are already counted in cricket all right so this is working again let us run this 10 5 1 2 3 4 5 5 2 6 okay and the number of students who are playing both so you you can see we have only two players who are playing both so it should give us the answer as 2 there it is again run this only cricket so only cricket are how much it should give us 3 because 1 and 2 are playing both they are they will not be counted in only cricket there we go so 3 4 5 are the only players again let us run this same will be for the badminton all right only three will be now let us see what it gives for five because there are only two players who are not playing anything all right so can you tell me which two players are not playing so first player is seven he is not playing and 10 because we have 10 players so 7 and 10 these two players are not there so this is it if you want to have this program the link is given in the description box below
and thanks for watching guys and if you want uh, more videos on your practicals do let me know in the comment section below so that's it thank you do subscribe share this video